So we recently dropped this video and it was called Tailwind CSS in 100 seconds. You know, that was exactly modeled to be like fire ships. But, you know, like a lot of people noted and we got a lot, a lot of comments from people on YouTube that it just was not acceptable. What's up, guys? How's it going? Kazi here from Clever Programmer. This is a different type of video. I don't usually do videos like this, but there are a couple of things that I believe need to be addressed. So. That's what this video is for. So we recently dropped this video and it was called Tailwind CSS in 100 seconds. A few days later, Fireship dropped his version, which was Tailwind CSS in 100 seconds. This whole series is Fireship's like way of doing videos. He has a whole series called in 100 seconds. And so we dropped one, you know, that was exactly modeled to be like fire ships. You know, we were inspired by the idea, the title, the thumbnail, and then we made our own original content in that video. But the parts that are really f***ed up and we really messed up on is we use pretty much the exact type of thumbnail that Fireship uses in his videos. And then we use the same exact title. And, you know, we said in the description, this video is inspired by Fireship. But, you know, like a lot of people noted and we got a lot, a lot of comments from people on YouTube that it just was not acceptable. You know, Traversy Media commented and he was like, this is sad. We had other YouTubers comment and they were not happy with it. And of course, Fireship commented and said, you know, uh, this was a very clever idea, shaking my head. Most of these people, you know, especially Traversy Media and Fireship are YouTubers that me and my team look up to, you know, we're inspired by their content. I think everybody in the community knows about them. You know, these are people that I have always, you know, looked up to in the community. You know, in the start of my journey, they've inspired me to actually start and to, you know, learn coding and then to teach coding. And I often find myself pointing people towards these channels. Hey, go watch content on these platforms. They have really good content out there. And so, you know, it's not fun to read comments where they're upset with you. You know, I'm not going to lie that that hurts and it's upsetting and, you know, rightfully so, because it's a big mistake on our end. Our intention wasn't to make anybody upset or to piss anybody off. I think even if the content is original, I think it's unacceptable to kind of do that with a thumbnail that's really messed up on our part. I think it's lazy on our part. You know, even if we're inspired, we can come up with a different type of title. We can come up with a different type of thumbnail. And I think that's 1000% our fault. There's no excuse for it. But, you know, we've been doing YouTube for a really long time. And if I upset you or, you know, our team upset you, like we really apologize apologize about that. And we don't want to lose you know, your trust. That's not our goal. We don't take that for granted. We take your trust very seriously. I think that we were just not careful and thoughtful enough of this. And so we kind of got what we deserve. 100% our fault on that. You know, moving forward, none of the thumbnails will be like that. And none of the titles will be like that. The other thing that I want to actually say is that I think why that's messed up I read somebody said in our comments and they said, hey, I thought it was like Fireship's video that I was clicking. And so uh, the other thing with like modeling the thumbnail to be exactly the same as Fireship's, why that's so wrong is Fireship's audience is uh, essentially is getting clickbaited into clicking our video because they're thinking it's Fireship's video and then they're being hit with our video. And so you know, it's wrong on many, many different levels. And so that's why we decided to do is just like change the title on that video, change the thumbnail on that video. So Fireship's audience is not confused with this stuff. Now I want to move on to the contextual portion of this, the overall context of what happened, why this happened in the first place, and uh, just give you more context around it. While we were working on this video, I know like Nas was working on this video. We had a bunch of people on from our team working on this video and they got together and they're like, they're actually inspired by Fireship, you know, and they were like, um, you know, I remember Nas would be coming up to me and he's like, hey, Fireship has this great type of content. I think we should have some content uh, this style too, where there's either somebody speaking and then there's animation over. These videos are a little bit easier to make. They don't take as long and they're valuable for people. And so then he was like, OK, I'm going to start working on this. David started learning like animations and how to actually animate and things like that. And so then we started adding that in post-production. You know, Fireship has 
live streams and videos like this online where Farship is teaching you, you know, uh, how he has his editing style or how he comes up with his videos. So Nas is like, this is great because we ourselves, like Nas and I, have watched a ton of Farship content. We love it. And so we're like, okay, this is amazing that he has content on how you can actually do this and how you can actually make videos like this. So we're like, this is so cool. So Nas is like, okay, I'm going to pick a video. I'm going to pick a title that he hasn't done. So we're not copying we're modeling something that hasn't been done. So he picked, he's like, I think I'm going to do Tailwind because he's like, Fireship hasn't covered that and I'm going to do it in a similar style. You know, then we made that video, of course. We edited it, it took a while. And then once we were done editing it, making sure the voiceover was on point and the animations were on point, you know, we decided to publish it. And I didn't really think much of it, to be honest. Like, I just, it wasn't a huge thing because we had just gotten done with running a JavaScript tour where we had 100 people in person in Los Angeles. And then after that, we had an event August 26th through 29th where we were doing a React intensive where we had people in person it was a React workshop. So my focus was, you know, a lot of our team's focus was on that. So we published the video. We didn't take too much time to think about this. As we're coming to the event on one of the first days, we see all the comments roll in and, you know, Fireship had dropped his comment and he was upset and Traversy Media's comment and he was upset. And then a few days later, this is also completely not known to us that Fireship was going to be dropping Tailwind a couple of days later. I had no idea. You know, Fireship dropped his Tailwind CSS, which was a much much better version than ours because we modeled from him. So his version is like way better. We're like, holy shit, this is sick. And then that's what everybody in his comments is saying too. They're like, you can't out Fireship Fireship. This is amazing content. He's the original gangster. And all of this is true. We're, we're learning from him. It was crazy. It was just so many people, so many upvotes on these comments. And we had no idea that this was going to kind of get out of proportion. And, and I saw this and I was like taking it back. I was like, this is a really big deal. Like we should actually do something about this. So we saw this happen, caught us by surprise, but but, you know, then when I was talking with Nas, I'm like, we, you know, we, we were all talking about it and we decided that if we were to ever do this, like we should, even in the video reference that this idea is, you know, not just in the description say, oh, this idea was inspired by Fireship, but like in the video itself, reference it and not use the same thumbnail, not use the similar style of thumbnail like um, Fireship and not use the same title can be different titles. So I think a lot of those things, they you know, honestly, there they can be really frustrating and upsetting for a creator because I've been creating on YouTube for five years now. And if that happens or when that happens, that does go on to irk people and it really upsets people. With that said, you know, there are a couple of other things I want to say. I think that, you know, b based on all this, I don't think any differently of Traversy Media or Fireship or any of the other content creators that you know, said whatever they did on our platform, because I think they're right in saying that. And also when everything is online, you don't know the other person. You don't know the actual intent of the other person. So for me, I have no hard feelings about any of them just because we don't know each other in real life. You know, that's very, very different when you know people in real life and not just online, because when there's miscommunication and things are done online, there's a lot of um, miscommunication that develops and the feelings of animosity are are way, way, way stronger and way more amplified. You know, for example, if in your relationship with your partner or with a friend, when you communicate over text, oftentimes fights and things get bigger versus when you meet in person, it just dissolves. You know, I, I just extend my sincerest apologies if it upset anybody, you know, fireship, not gonna happen again, dude, I'm sorry. This was not our goal. You know, with that said, I do wanna like talk about certain things, right? So when it comes to YouTube, when it comes to creating content, there are a lot of channels that will model other platforms or other styles of videos as long as they don't plagiarize right and make their own original content so in our video we have completely original content that's not taken from anywhere we made the content ourselves and the research is our own research and you'll see this happen very very often right if you for example you've probably come across videos like i paid somebody on fiverr to make this or that you know peter mckinnon is doing it there are all these top youtubers doing it now people in the developer community are doing it so whenever there's a certain type of idea people will model Model it. People will create those types of videos. I've created a video before inspired by Fireship and, you know, everybody loved it. We, we didn't use the same title or thumbnail or anything like that, but that video is called My Advice to New Programmers. Number one, focus on the fundamentals. So many developers I see always trying to learn the hottest technology, the newest framework, the coolest thing that is happening around them. Stop. 
and it was way easier to make. It was way easier to edit. I just edited literally on my iPhone and it's just how Fireship has his type of thing where it's like voiceover with animation. You know, I added all the animation. I added my own voiceover and people really enjoyed it. So modeling content is there'll be like, we'll drop a video like top five programming languages. And there are a ton of other creators that will also drop similar videos. And I'm not saying we're original in creating top five programming languages. When you make a thumbnail or whatever, people will start to make similar types of thumbnails even, right? And this is something that is normal. Um, you'll start seeing videos like if I started coding, how would I start all over again? Somebody will make it, they'll do well. And then a lot of people will start making that, but just sharing it from their own experience, from their own perspective. I hate that this apology sounds like it has a but. It really doesn't. I'm just trying to provide some context. I think the thing that's upsetting is that there's a signature style of videos that Fireship has. There's a signature style of titles and thumbnails. And I think those should never, ever be copied because I think that's where the real problem comes in. And I think that really upsets people. But I think in terms of in the future, our content, we're planning to make a ton of tutorials, just like we always have been. We started doing the clones it's on our channel and then tons of people started doing that. There's tons of channels out there that literally will have let's build a clone in blah, 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 blah. And that was something we started April of 2020. And then all these channels started popping up and making builds, you know, going back to this, our upcoming content is going to be a lot more tutorial based. And then if we drop videos like this, we're not going to title them the same. We're not going to thumbnail them the same way. I think that's not okay. But I think in terms of content, I think that it's okay to make content with voiceover and then adding animations on top of it. I just think that it's not cool when, you know, somebody's coming up with the whole series and a whole idea and then another creator who just kind of, you know, models it to a point where essentially it just looks like copying. So again, not our intent. It's messed up and we will improve. We will make it better. This won't happen again. There you guys have it. There's a lot going on on this channel, you know, on a more positive note, there's a lot of amazing things that are happening. We're going to be making a ton of tutorials. We just hit a million subscribers. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to be dropping a lot more content or I'm going to be dropping a video addressing that as well. So thank you guys so much. You know, there's a lot that's been going on in my personal life. And, you know, I hope to get you guys caught up on some of that stuff as well, but I am doing a lot better now and much happier right now. And so that puts me in a much better mental space to come and create more content because sometimes this YouTube and algorithms and all of this stuff can get to you and kind of kill your happiness for why you started a lot of these things in the first place. That's what I'm looking forward to for all of you that love this channel. I love you. If you hate this channel or you've been upset by it recently, I still love you. We're still going to keep showing up. We're young. We make mistakes. We're dumb. but We keep improving every single day. We make a commitment to ourselves and to you guys to improve every single day and we'll keep showing up and we'll keep showing out. That's it. I love your beautiful face. This is Kazi. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.